What up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here today with the review for The Real Housewives of Potomac, you guys. This is season 6, episode 1, The Nude Interlude. Now, you guys, before we even get into reviewing Potomac, I want to put this disclaimer out there, you know, if you guys do not know Karen Football Head Ashley, Saturn's Rings aka Giselle, Robin Mia, Wendy, or Candace. If you don't know them personally, don't take this. Don't take anything that I say on this channel personally. Don't come at me about anything that I say on this on any, about these women. Please don't. Like last season, y'all gave me. I, yeah, I think I gave a lot of us YouTubers the blues. This season, Monique is gone. We ain't talking about what happened with Monique last season unless they bring it up. <sighs> Let's be let's be respectful and whatnot in this because we you know this is the thing that I'm gonna say on this channel we gonna, we're gonna say what we we you know, we're gonna say what we say right but we're gonna be nice about what we say we're gonna say what we say but we're gonna be nice about what we say now what that means with that without what that that long you know that um housekeeping out of the way let's get into this show. you know let's talk about this now before we actually do. If you guys are watching this video or any of the other videos on the channel and you guys are not subscribed already, why are we still going out on a date with each other, you know? Hit the subscribe button, you guys. I am at 981 right about now. So help me get to 1,000. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's talk about Real Housewives of Potomac. I actually enjoyed the first episode, but Saturn's rings are about to get red. Let's get into it. All right, you guys. So uh, let's start off with Football Head, a.k.a. Ashley. You know, I'm honestly overseeing football head, and it's not it's not 100% just football head. It is football head, and that cretin, that gremlin, that golem that she calls a husband. That is really who I'm overseeing. I, for the life of me, just cannot stand looking at that troll, that that trollop, that 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 that, that gremlin. That hobbit, whatever you want to call him, I'm, I'm 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 overlooking at him, right? Like I could go the rest of my life and never look at Ashley and that hobbit, that sloop, that that hobbit, that troll, that gremlin, that cretin, that golem. I could go the rest of my life and never look at him in, in my life. So um, we find out that Ashley is ten days away from having a new baby, right? We see little Dean, little Dean. He, he's 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 a cute little boy, although he still looks like. That hobbit, that troll, that gremlin, that golem. Lord have mercy. Why would you want to have sex with the Crypt Keeper? I, I, I just don't know. Why in the hell would someone want to... You know what? Ashley's doing this for money. Ashley is doing it for money, bitch. Because there ain't no way in hell I could sleep with something that looks like that. Even if it was for money. I would kill myself. I would, I would gouge my eyes out. I would do something. I would do like that scene on Scary Movie when Marlon, Scary Movie 2, when Marlon was having sex with that ghost. He put a bag over her face. I would put a bag over his face because he's hideous. Um, oh, God, man. She's talking about the fact that they have not had sex. I'm like, girl, I did not want to hear that you and Michael, oh, God, are not having sex. Count your blessings, girl. Count it as a blessing that he did. Oh, God. Now, we know what happened last time. Michael, you know, went around and had the woman in the room. Probably had a man in there, too. Quiet as it's kept. Or loudly as it's kept. I don't really care which one ever you say. So, now Ashley wants football. Hell, wants for Michael and her to be more open once the new baby gets here. And share their feelings. Okay. Whatever. I don't really give a rat's ass. Oh, God. You know, it is so. it is really funny with the Housewives of Potomac how with this one, this couple in particular, they have been through a lot of stuff on this show. And it's because of him. He's he's violated people. He's violated so many people on this show, so many men on this show, but he still is able to, she is still able to hold her flute on this show. Explain to me why that is. I still don't understand why the hell he's able she's able to be on this show when the hobbit is a, is, a, is a liability. You know what? I, I don't want to talk about them too long. Let's move on. All right, guys. Next up, let's talk about Candace, right? So Candace has a new house 
her house is really nice. I will give it to that. Dorothy didn't pay for it. Dorothy didn't do anything with this house. It was all Candace and Chris. So then, you know, she has a guest over there, and it's Saturn's Rings, also known as Giselle Bryant. So Saturn's Rings, uh, you know, Saturn's Rings are the rings around her neck. So, um, Candace has her stepchildren there. It's a boy and a girl. Um, I think the little girl's name was Naya, and the little boy's name is Mateo. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I wasn't really paying that much of attention to it. So with COVID, you know, the boy and they're they're with them for about a month, right? And they've been home. They're in their homeschool. Um, like I said, Candace's house is nice. What creeped me out was that picture of Evil D in that room, and it was life size. I was like, oh hell no, and you know, Saturn's rings were like, does she like that? She's like, she loves it. Child, why is she still friends with Saturn's rings? Ugh, God, Saturn's rings. So Saturn's rings and Candace sit down to catch up, right? And, you know, you know, Candace is telling Saturn's rings what's going on between she and, you know, she's in school. Chris is still teaching on, you know, school, on, you know, his culinary school online and stuff like that. So then she asked Saturn's ring, what about you and Jamal? And Saturn's ring says that, you know, she and Jamal are not in a good space. No shit, Saturn's rings, because that relationship was fake as fuck. We called that last season that you and Jamal just put that relationship together. Like Karen said at the reunion, well, word on the streets is that, you know, you and Jamal just came up with that relationship to save your job. That's all it is. Speaking of Karen, Saturn's rings has an issue with Karen because she says that Karen's going around lying on her. Girl, what is Karen lying about? The same shit that Karen said at the reunion, I've said, I had said some of that stuff in my review, especially because I was like, we are, I'm, and even Andy asked you about it, actually, I remember it's verbatim, premiere night of Real Housewives of Potomac, season five, Andy, which is, um, Saturn's Rings, aka Giselle, was his first guest on the show, or no, 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 she was not, when was Saturn's Rings on there, was, no, Okay, okay, so I could be wrong about the date, but I do remember verbatim that she was on Watch What Happens Live, and I know who she was on Watch What Happens Live with. She was on Watch What Happens Live with Wig, a.k.a. Kim. So she and Kim were virtually on Watch What Happens Live with Andy when Andy was at home, and Andy asked um, Saturn's Rings, also known as Giselle, he asked her um, about the rumor that Jamal had allegedly had another baby. She said that that was not true. Who knows if it's true? Who cares if it's true? But Andy asked you that question on Watch What Happens Live. So it's not like you it's not like you didn't know anything about that. So I don't understand why you're so upset with Karen at all. Like she says, but she says, um, F Karen. F you Saturn's rings. So then now Candace, I get where Candace is coming from. She's not sure where she's she's not just so sure about Karen. And I get it. I, I was not happy with what Karen did last season. I, I And I told you guys that. And so many, I told you guys that. I love, you guys know I love me some Karen. But I was just, I didn't feel right with what Karen was doing. Karen was in the middle. And Karen was placing herself in the middle of the shit between Candace and Monique. I didn't like that. It's one thing to be, it's one thing to be friends with both Candace and Monique. But you don't have to take a side. You can tell Monique, like, Monique, what you did to Candace, dead ass wrong. Now, Candace, you might want to watch that mouth. Like, something like that. Something to, to that effect. So, yeah. So, at this point, Candace is keeping her um, distance for, um, from um, 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 Karen, right? So, Saturn's Rings. Like I said, she's still... Mis she, Saturn's Rings is miserable, and she's talking shit about Karen. Talking about, like I said a few minutes ago, she said Karen made these lies up about her at the reunion. What lie did she make up? She asked you, is Jamal coming? Jamal didn't come to the reunion. So, that was a truth. She asked, she didn't, Karen didn't, verb Karen didn't say. She said, well, the word, well, she said the word on the street was that Jamal allegedly out here had another baby. That was a word on the street. So I want to know what in Saturn's ring's mind she believes that Karen lied on her about. So she's like, she can drop truths on Karen. Saturn's rings. I'm going to need you to calm that ass down. Calm that ass down, Saturn's rings. 
So then Candace and Chris, we see them cooking, right? And they're having dinner with the stepkids. I honestly will say that Candace looks like a, she's a great stepmother. You know, that's something that's so funny to me. I, I just thought about it. I was thinking about it while watching the episode. Because you guys remember in the, in, the, in, the, in the scuffle between she and Monique last season, you know, Candace was like, so your mom shaming me? Your mom shaming me? And, you know, Monique was like, you have to be a mom in order to be mom shamed. Well, technically, Monique, she is a mom. Like, she's a stepmother. So, you kind of were mom shipping her. I didn't think about that last season when she said that. I, I, I actually forgot about Chris's step. I, not her, Chris's step. I actually forgot about her stepchildren because they very rarely mention them kids. So, I forgot about them kids. With, why not? With you. No shade, Candace. I really forgot about them kids. Let's move on. All right, you guys. Next up, the Grand Dame Karen herself. So, we see Karen and Raymond. Raymond. So Karen and Ray are spring cleaning, right? And she's looking for her wedding dress because she says that she wants to take a piece of her, like whenever Raven, her daughter, gets married, she wants to have a patch sewn into the dress. And Ray was like, why do you think she wants to get it, put it in the front? Why do you think she would want to have part of your wedding dress attached to hers in the first place, Karen? Your wedding dress is 20 something plus years old. This is a 23 year old girl. Whenever she gets married, I don't think she wants an old-fashioned, no no shade, Karen, no shade to you, my love. I don't think she wants that, but okay, Karen, go off. So Karen is talking about, you know, the. remember, at the reunion, Ray asked Karen to renew their vows this year, right? Because this is their 25th anniversary. And and it was like, oh, crap, now y'all know, y'all know how that goes when people, oh, shit. Damn, that is true, though. When you renew your vows on this show, on the on these housewives shows, they never last. Cause they, I, I'm trying to think about who all has renewed their vows on housewives. That I'm, I'm drawing, I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank right about now. I'm trying to think about who all. A prime ex- didn't didn't um. Oh God, OC. It was OC. I know somebody from OC. I'm, I'm trying to think of the most recent. OC. Wasn't it, um, Shannon, Shannon, didn't Shannon and her husband, if I'm not mistaken, Shannon, and yes, Shannon renewed her vows on the Real Housewives of Orange County. Shannon is divorced. Shannon has renewed her vows on Orange County. I think it's really most, God, Karen, be weird. You know what is, but you know what, this is, this is going to be the first of the black shows where they've renewed their vows. Because no one on Atlanta has renewed their vows. Nene and Greg got divorced and got remarried. So this is going to be the first black housewife where, where someone does a vow renewal. But it's always been the white women. So they're talking about it. So, you know, Karen's talking about, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't like the taboo behind it. It ain't really a taboo, baby. It's, it's happened. So she says that, you know, her and her daughter Raven came up with a clever way to... Not really say it's a vow renewal. So they said, you know, um, what is it? So they'll say it's so nice. We did. We had to do it twice, which I like that. Okay. So then, you know, Ray's like, well, who are you going to invite to the uh, the wedding? She's like, I'm going to invite, I'm going to invite people who love me. And Giselle is not one of them. Baby, when she ripped the hell out of Saturn's rings, I was here for it. And her interview with the producers, I was here for Karen reading the hell out of Giselle because she read her ass. Because she was like, you know, some people can, you know, 25 years. Some people can't even have a man for 25 minutes. Let alone, some of them have a man in the phone that they can't even get out of the phone to be around. I was like, yes, Karen, you better come for her. Say that again. Some people can't get a man out of the phone to show up in person. Loved it. Loved it, Karen. Loved it. Woo. That's my, that is my grand dame. You know, it's so funny. Season one of Potomac, I didn't like Karen because Karen put on too much airs for me. Season one, but after we got, at, I think it, you know what? When I when I started to like Karen, it was season three. I didn't really officially like Karen until season three, when them tax issues came out. That's when I started to fall in love with Karen. Them tax issues, because if it wasn't for, I think I think for Karen, if it wasn't for those tax issues, she still would have been putting on, you know. The black Bill Gates with that white, them white appliances and all that stuff. But whatever. Y'all know I love me some Karen. 
So Ray is telling Karen that he wants to do this with less people, baby, because I'm old. You're definitely old. She said, speak for yourself, Raymond. I'm not old. I'm like, okay, Karen. But yeah, she like I said, she wants to invite people who love her. Saturn's rings. It's nay. Let's move on. All right, guys. So before we get into Wendy, I'm going to talk about Robin. Why the is Robin back? Child, somebody. So I, I tweeted that. I was like, why is Robin back? And somebody tweeted me and said, um, for Giselle. I'm like, well, we could have got, we could have booted Turkey, Turkey Nick Giselle too. Like the hell? So Robin, Robin is back. I don't know why Robin is back. I thought when, um, now I thought originally that Robin was back because Robin was going to get married this season, right? Girl, 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 why? So I guess we're going to go, I guess we're gonna, it's going to be ring around the rosy with Robin because the producers asked her, so when are you and Juan getting married? Oh, we don't know. I was like, girl, I know you lying. You are not about to stretch this shit out for another season. The devil is a lie. I want you to get married on this show so that way you can either be, re- either you can get fired or we can reduce you to a damn friend of the show. I don't want to look at Robin Dixon anymore at all. I know some of y'all like, "Uh uh-uh, JB, we like looking at fine-ass Juan. I know, because some of y'all leave it in the comments. Y'all leave it in the comments all the time that y'all love Juan Dixon, talking about how fine Juan Dixon is. So I know some of y'all want to see Juan Dixon, which is the best asset to her. Juan actually makes her, no, I was about to say it makes her look better, but no, I, I I do like Juan. I really do. Juan is a good guy, but Juan is not a, you know, no, no, no. Mm-mm. Robin just does not bring anything for me, period. So she and Juan are building a house. I'm like, oh, is that so? You don't say so. Okay, whatever. Like I said, at this point, no wedding date. They're talking about having more kids. Juan wants girls, right? But I watched this. I watched her and I watched her and um Saturn's Rings interview on the Breakfast Club. And she was talking about this. She was talking about when the pandemic first hit that, you know, she she didn't really get out of bed until like 10, 10, 12, 10 or at the latest two in the afternoon. I'm like, girl, what the hell? And you got kids? What kind of direction was your life going in? Now, you might have been in, in the funk, in the depression. I don't know. And then she was feeding the kids Chick-fil-A. I'm like, girl, you was really going through it. Going through it. Going through it. Get going through it. Let's move on, cause I, I I gave her enough of my time. Don't want to give her any more. Moving on to Wendy. All right, guys, Miss Wendy Osefo. So Wendy is well, Doctor Wendy Osefo is it back? Um, how do I feel feel about Wendy? I'm actually kind of happy that Wendy's back. I hope that this season we get to see a little bit more of Wendy. I think we did get to see Wendy last season, but with all the shit that happened last season. Wendy inserted herself in things that I didn't think she needed to insert herself in. So I think we, I hope we get to see who Wendy is, right? So we actually opened the episode up with Wendy and she was doing the silhouette challenge, inviting the women to a nude, um, the nude interlude, right? So then we see Wendy and her, um, and Eddie, they're at the doctor and they're checking out her breasts because Wendy got her breasts done. They look really nice. I will say that, um, Wendy, at Wendy, I will say, Wendy looks really nice this season. You know, um, Wendy looks really good. Her wigs look better. Her makeup looks better. Everything looks good this season on Wendy. I'm like, okay, Wendy. I was like, okay. And when, actually, when I had first saw Wendy, that she had got her, you know, bre- you know, breast augmentation and all that stuff, I was like, oh my God. I'm like, I hope Wendy did it for herself because I did see so many negative comments last season about, about Wendy's body and about her shape and i'm just like and i was thinking to myself last season the woman just had a freaking baby what do y'all expect this woman to do but i think wendy did it for herself so we see wendy she's having this party right she invited all the ladies to the party so we see all the ladies as they're getting ready for the party right and um we see saturn's rings we see um candace she was actually sick we see robin talking to them badass kids of hers we see Ashley trying to get ready. Now, mind you, it's, she said nude, right? Why did Ashley wear white? I didn't understand that part, but we I don't care. I don't care. Ashley, my nose says, hey, Arnold. 
is what I'm what I called her. Hey, Arnold. So you know, all the ladies show up to the party, and they're trying to. And in in her um in her video to them, she said there would be some surprise guests. So they were trying to figure out who the surprise guests are, and you know they were like maybe it's gonna be strippers. So she comes down where they are, and she tells them that you know, hey, um, Candace is not gonna be coming because Candace texted me and told me she wasn't feeling well. So leave it to Robin and Turkey Neck Saturn's ring Nick Giselle. They like, oh, it's got to be about Karen. It's got to be about Karen. It's, it's Karen. She doesn't want to come because she doesn't want to see Karen. She doesn't want to see Karen. She doesn't want to see Karen. How do y'all know it's because she doesn't want to see Karen? She may, like, she might be sick. It's a lot of, I mean, her stepkids are there with her. There are so many variables that could have been the real, re, been the reason that Candace didn't come. I think, Can, well, I think Candace is a grown-ass woman and grown enough to say, hey, I'm not ready to be around, um, what's her name? Karen. And I don't want to come. Like, the hell? All right, so then we're introduced to Mia. So we're introduced to Mia via, um, via Karen, right? Mia's voice is a little on the annoying side. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Her voice is just a little bit annoying for me. And her face. Mia's a beautiful woman. Don't I'm not gonna say she's not beautiful, but Mia kind of has that face. Cause I kept looking at Mia. I'm like, Mia looks familiar to me. I kept looking at her face. I'm like, Mia looks familiar. And then it hit me. I'm like, oh, that's who she looks like. Not to be shady, but have you guys ever saw the human Ken doll? Have you guys ever saw the human Ken doll? I'm not saying she looks like a man. I'm not saying she looks like a man. I'm saying her face, the way it's shaped looks like his her face is very chiseled her face is very very chiseled and i was like oh my god her face her face is chiseled I'm not saying that the woman looks like a man i'm just saying her face is her face is chiseled her face actually her face looks like um black china's face when she got it after she got it done remember when black china looked like the crimson chin that's kind of who mia looks like oh that was shady wasn't it sorry mia i'm i'm really sorry I'm, you know, I like you so far. You don't annoy me. Your voice does. Your voice is hella fucking annoying. I, I can't even lie about that. Annoying voice. So we find out a little bit about Mia. So Mia owns a joint chiropractic. She has three kids. She lives on the harbor, I believe, in Baltimore, the Baltimore Harbor. Right? Child, I don't know. I wasn't really listening. She has a lake home in Durham. Because they, they notice a southern accent. I'm like, y'all, y'all hear a southern accent? Really? I don't hear it. I'm from the south. So she has grandkids and she lets us know that she has, her husband is 38 years older than her. I'm like, girl, when she told us how old her husband is, I'm like, girl, you really can't do the math because that is easy math right there. That is the easy, that is the easiest and most basic of math I've ever heard in my life. So her husband is 68 years old, right? So they said she's, he's 38, she said she's 30, he's 38 years older than her. So they're like, so you're 30? She's like, no, I'm not 30, I'm 36. I'm like, girl, how stupid are you? Like, that was basic math. I'm like, she's like, no, I'm 36. Because Rob was like, well, you just said he's 38 years older than you. And if he's 38 years older than you and you're and he's 68, you do realize 68 and minus 38 means 30. And she's like, oh, no, 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 I'm 36. She's like, well, whatever the math is. I'm like, baby, that's basic math. You got six. And you got two, eight. How many numbers is in between six and eight? Two. Two, baby girl. Two. So that means he's what? He's 32 years older than you. Girl, I don't know how you missed that one, but um, I'm going to need you to go back to the second grade again. So then Candace, Karen asked the ladies, like, you know, where's, where's Candace at? Here go Robin's big mouth ass. Well, I don't think Karen, I don't think Candace came because she didn't want to see you. And I'm glad that Karen took that in stride and then said, well, Robin, girl, shut up. I was told Robin to shut up. But Karen took that in stride, right? And she's like, you know, if, if Karen, Candace is not ready to see me right now, I understand that Candace went through so much last last year. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm, and I'm really glad that Karen took that in stride, right? Saturn, I rolled my eyes because of Saturn's rings. This helper here. Well, I don't like Karen. I can't. I don't. I can't stand Karen. Y'all know I can't stand Karen. 
because they, they were talking at one point because they were talking about what it would take to repair, you know, you know, because football head, hey, Arnold said that, you know, she and Candace, don't, Candace can't, they don't, they don't get along. And they all like, well, you know, we all just may need to get on one accord and just, and have the conversations with each other. And then Saturn's rings sat there and said, well, y'all know I don't like Karen. I can't stand Karen. And Karen says, Giselle, you don't want this. And child, I was my face. Actually, I saw this. I saw this previously because they showed. They showed a clip of this. I saw somewhere. Oh, oh, I, I, I had already saw the clip of this. On, um, I think it was on FG's um blog, but she asked her, "Does she want to talk about? Do you want me to talk about your fiery box?" And why you can't keep a man. I was like, not her fiery box. And they was like, her fiery box, Karen. Are you talking about that her, her vagina's on fire? Yes, her fiery box. And Giselle and, um, you know, Turkey Neck, Turkey Neck says that, you know, the ding that ding, the, the ding dong at her home is, don't work. And Karen says, Giselle, you are a broken whore from Hampton. I was like, not a broken whore from Hampton. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Grand Dame, you had her shook. It was the fiery box. And why she can't keep him in. And then we said, you are a broken whore from Hampton. O-M-G. Bravo. Bravo. Bravo, Grand Dame. You did that. I was happy for you. All right, you guys. So that's Real Housewives of Potomac. Um, Can't give you guys anything more. That was the episode of Potomac. Pretty solid opening episode. I think I'm going to enjoy this season. Now, I noticed there was, in, in the um, trailer, I noticed there was another woman in the mix with them. So, do we have a friend of the Housewives this season? Like, do we have a friend of? I, 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 now, see, when, when it comes to Potomac, this season, I decided not to, you know, I, I don't know anything. So, when people talked about Potomac, like Richie Sky and all them, I didn't pay attention, so I don't know. So let me know. Do we have a friend of this season? And if we do, let me know what her just just put in the comments what her name is. I don't want to know nothing about the woman. Don't DM me about the woman. I just want to know what her name is. That's it. And um, that's it, you guys. Like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware when I drop anything else and share this video. And until the next one, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands, wear your mask or not. Whichever one you guys do decide to do, be be safe and be blessed and socially distance, you guys. And Marriage to Medicine, that one will be up later today. I haven't watched that episode yet. So Marriage to Medicine will be up later this afternoon. It'll probably be, I'm, I'm going to try to watch it. It is currently 9 o'clock. And so I'm going to go in and watch it. And then I'll be back to talk to you guys about Marriage to Medicine later. So until then, bye guys.